Getting a huge TV, let's say above 65 inches, can be somewhat cost prohibitive and finding one with a 100 inch screen would end up costing a nice chunk of change. So I went down the less expensive route of buying one of the best rated projector screens out there. PropView are well rated for their quality projectors and screens, so my hopes were high. I toyed with the idea of a material foldable screen, you know those that fit within a frame and also have legs and feet. My slight concern with these is that the creases would be a problem and no way did I want to spend my evening ironing a huge screen. I can't remember the last time I ironed anything but that's another story. Also the frames can sag and break so another solution was needed. The prop view screen I went for promised to be wrinkle free. It came with a stand and the screen itself could be rolled in and out of a metal housing. Ideal to protect the screen from damage or dirt when not in use. This meant that storage was also fairly easy although not as easy as a foldable screen as long as you could accommodate the length which was around 2.4 meters or 94 inches. It does come with a handy bag too and storing it behind the sofa will probably work fine for me. There is also a 120 inch version of this screen but I figured that being able to fit the thing in my room was more important so I bought the 100 inch version. That's 100 inches corner to corner diagonally, the same as how you would measure a TV screen. The package item was twice the size of the guy that delivered it. I mean this thing is huge but thankfully not too heavy. Just look at it, it pretty much fills my hallway but does look very well packaged. At least I know whatever's inside is well protected. Not only is it within a thick cardboard box, it's also wrapped in plastic and plastic straps keep the contents from breaking out unintentionally. The excellent packaging is repeated on the inside. There is a quality feel to this item already and I haven't even opened the box yet. That reminds me, I must remove that white paint from those radiators pipes. Once all of the protective and plastic packaging is removed, the screen is in two connected parts. The tube that holds the rolled up screen and the tripod stand, which conveniently connects to it while folded. Although fairly light, the length makes it somewhat interesting to move around, so be careful with your ceiling and any nearby ornaments. The instructions are very easy to read and straightforward. It's hard to go wrong and assembly is less than five minutes. The last packing items to remove are these straps and some additional foam protection. The straps are useful to keep it all together when stored. The tripod and stand can be separated from the screen by this blue lever. I found it easier to set the stand up first. Place it on a level floor where possible and extend the three legs like shown. The legs don't lock into place but will only spread so far. The weight of the item keeps the legs wide and rubber feet stop any slippage. The bracket to hold the screen slides up and down and locks into place with this blue lever. I took a guess where it needed to be but you can alter the height after you fit the screen. Extend the stand and lock the desired height by twisting the blue lock grip. Again I took a guess at the height it needs to be. Fitting the screen back into the stand is the reverse of how it was removed. Just use the blue lever to lock it in place. The screen isn't well balanced in the middle and wanted to lean to the right hand side so you might want to support it while you connect it. Using the screen handle, pull the screen up out of its holder and hook it onto the top fixing. This has a groove for the handle to sit in. Once assembled and fully extended I did notice that the screen continued to lean to the right a little, probably because the roller mechanism is heavier on that side. To correct this I use the little known but high tech mug coaster solution to lean the stand slightly the other way. Yes I can see you're impressed, I'm sharing all my tech secrets with you today. Maybe not recommended by the manufacturers but it worked for me. However you do it, just ensure the stand remains stable so it doesn't topple over. Now that looks much better and about as straight as I can get it. There is a slight ripple that runs down the middle of the screen. It might be hard to see in this video and I'm guessing it's just where the screen might be resting against something when it's fully retracted. It's hardly noticeable though and may drop out in time. It certainly isn't viewable once the image is projected onto it and is nowhere near as bad as the deep creases you're going to get in a foldable screen. You could use this screen outside but it'll act like a huge sail so you'd need to somehow stop it from blowing over and moving from side to side. It will pivot on its centre axis with the slightest breeze. Perhaps anchoring it to a nearby fence could work or using a couple of dining chairs. For me though this is intended for indoor use. The screen itself is very good quality and the back is black which helps cut down any light leakage. Of course any screen screen is only as good as the projector that throws the image onto it and I use the most excellent native 1080p Artly Enagon 2 projector. It's quite possibly the best 1080p projector you can buy under $300. It's a cracking piece of kit and I'll leave a link to it in the description if you want to know more. Sound is provided by the small and modestly priced majority Bofal soundbar. It sounds beefier than it looks and is a revelation for the price. Again links below if you want to know more about that. Gaming has been taken to a new level. My PlayStation 5 just just loves this screen. Enjoyable and immersive games now become room filling experiences and I'm blown away by just how well this
this screen copes with the image thrown onto it. Watching movies and YouTube videos is awesome. I feel like I'm sitting inside my own theatre. This screen brings a mesmerising and enchanting experience to any movie night. The kids will love it and you won't want to watch any other movie on anything smaller. This particular screen has an aspect ratio of 16.9 which is the same as your HD TV. This is perfect for gaming and movies. There is also the aspect ratio of 4.3 which will give you a squarer screen if this is more suitable for your needs. But I recommend 16.9 for gaming and movies. Sizes and aspect ratio choices may differ by region. As you can probably tell I'm delighted with this projector screen and I highly recommend it. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. There are links in the description to the items in this video if you'd like to check them out and find out more. If you found this interesting or useful I'd really appreciate a thumbs up if you have time. It's a big help to my small channel if you can do that for me please. Please also consider subscribing for more tech related reviews. Thank you once again, stay safe and I hope to see you soon.